Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today, probably the finale, I'd imagine the finale, we're probably the finale of the Carl Franz campaign. Um, there's not a lot left to do, um, just a little bit, little bit of vampires. I know arguably there's still loads to do, there's still the whole empire, I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, I just can't. Like, what? I don't see any drama, any excitement here. It's just kind of like, okay, let's declare war on all of our, ostensibly our allies, in order to secure uh, the Empire. But we are going to add some story of our own in this sort of alternate um, sort of telling of the history of the Empire, right? We are going to mix things up a little bit, um, give some excuses for us to leave. What we're going to try and do is get all of these uh, emissary and ambassador technologies done because we actually are earning a bit of money now and can do these uh, but I can't think of a better reason to sort of like give us an out than to go well yeah technically Zardina Catherine has uh, you know all of our northern settlements under her control but she's just helping us out she sent in her armies to help us and now we're going to negotiate uh, the return of these settlements and I know technically there are mechanics to do that in the game by going, you know, oh, here's a billion uh, empire bucks. Can I have the settlement back? And the answer is usually no, because it just doesn't really gauge wealth in diplomacy all that well. Um, it's a bit crap at that. So the idea of just buying everything back, it's, it's a bit silly. And are they really allies if they're selling us the territory back? No, just no, it's silly, all right? It's dumb. Um, so we're just going to go, yeah, cool, the bad guys aren't in the Empire anymore. That's good enough. Um, which I think is fair. Also, like, got other stuff going on the channel, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, it means we can get back to another Total War campaign in future. They'll be nice and fresh. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... Um... It's been a fun campaign. And I'd hate for it to get to a point where it just gets completely tedious. Um, you know how campaigns are in Total War. They tend to overstay their welcome. Yes. Yeah, see, Carl gets it. So, yeah, I wanna I wanna end with a nice a nice off ramp where it's like, well, we defeated the vampires, and that was the main thing. That was the main thing. You know, we secured all the south. You know, we kicked out the Skaven and the Tomb Kings and we dealt with the vampires. And I, I like that. I think that's a good a good end point. So that feels like narratively finished. You know, whereas haggling for property for the next 800 years just doesn't sound great either. Declaring war on a bunch of allies doesn't sound great either. Technically, um, we could deal with Drychair, but again, we'll just be... At that point, we'll have like five armies on like her border and we'll just be walking forwards and auto-resolving. There's not much to it. So, we'll just, you know, we'll deal with the vamps. Greetings from Sigma. Military access, yeah, be my guest. Stones of the Ancients, again. Um, I think we'll just destroy the monoliths. This is the, uh, you know, stones have been found. They found a henge, and we're going to demolish it to appease the uh, the cults of the Empire, the sanctioned cults. No, no, I said cults, not counts. Lots of confederation going on. Uh, being able to share acquired knowledge among your peers can only lead to better results all round. I agree. I agree. Uh, so someone found Vlad. <laughs> Gelt, you want to go kill Vlad? He's going to run away. Let's watch. He's going to run away. Oh, he didn't run away. Okay, I'll just die then. Not worth fighting that army. There's nothing in it. I'm like, haha, I've managed to escape. I've escaped that naughty, naughty wizard. Oh, who are these fellows? <laughs> Hello, friends. How's it going? Oh, no, I'm being murdered. That's what Vlad sounds like. So there he goes. And uh, another person just got under Ascendant or whatever it's called. What's it called? I mean, I know I just saw it, but also I wasn't paying attention. Also, I'm not seeing where that would be. Because it's not rank gained. It's not equipment I gained. It's not a world event. Okay, apparently they called that a world event. They didn't call that trait gained. Okay. Uh, so Balthazar Gelt got that one. And yeah, Undeath Descendant. I get it. I get it now. Uh, oh, James has already beaten him, I think. He'd already beaten him. That makes sense. 
Uh, let's get you fervent. Okay, I want to scrub this place clean. To the provinces. Yes, scrub the provinces clean. Um, and you can head back here. We'll head to Leichberg in a second. Good. So? So, have an additional orb. He loves orbs. And then we get metal to gold. Uh, metal to gold magic. Sorry, metal to gold to magic. But anyway, it'll be good. We'll get that. And we get some technology. Let's go emissary to the Prince of Altdorf. This will help us with Kislev. This trusted advisor, whose loyalty is beyond reproach, knows the Emperor's mind almost as well as Karl Franz himself. Good. Right. Castle Templehof. Yeah, sure, we'll build that barracks. Might as well. By the comet. Um, yeah, yeah. The we can build it by a comet. As long as it's built, I'm happy. I will take over Zerden. Good. <laughs> no elected to it return fun? it to, because they already confederated us. Bring me to my men. And now, uh, wow, you are almost maxed out. Good lad. And Eben. He could also head north. He could also head north. Moving off. So he will. Uh, do I want to get you some new toys? I do. So we're in... Uh, so we were just in Eichschatten, so I'm going to get the Halfling units. I'm also going to get Eldred's Guard, because they're from Sudenland. So there we go. Yeah, I like that. I think, uh, I think you're looking pretty good. Ooh, and you want to get Sutson's guns as well, because we've already got a bunch of mortars, so we'll get some to do magic damage as well. An expert in putting down the living and the dead. Uh, Benek Sutson's guns always fire short and true. Alright, Blount, what have you got for me? Yeah, be more inviolable. Good lad. And Magnus, let's get you flaming sword of ruin. Okay. Uh, and you're happy there. Yes, my lord. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. Uh, and that's mice, Sin. And yeah, let's get that vineyard up and running. We have to celebrate our victory. Right, let's build a garrison there as well. All right, there we go. Was that all necessary? I don't know. How are we doing, Old Dwarf? Still be a few turns for that stuff to build. Going to be a few more turns. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to build? Oh, it was the uh, Imperial Academy. I was going to build one of them, wasn't I? Yep, sounds right. Although Temple to Sigma. Might actually be better, because uh, Altdorf is famous for its cathedral. Yeah, maybe I'll do that instead, actually. Maybe I'll do that instead of the academy. Feels a bit more... Um, yeah, we should have a cathedral, right? We should. So we'll grab that next turn. Or at least start building it. So, at least the intent now. is that it's getting built, right? That's that's enough for me. Greetings from Sigma. Uh, Non-aggression pact sounds lovely. We really should be firmer friends if you're going to own half of my territory. You know, buy me dinner first. I am elated. Somebody is elated. <laughs> What's that, you mate? The wild makes warriors. <laughs> Very happy. Here, have have a bunch more huntsmen. Okay, have huntsmen. You can get um. No, we don't have other huntsmen to give him. Apparently. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. Now you do. Uh, so, Emissary to the Prince of Old Dorf. Yep, you read that already. And there we go. Plus one control is nice. Speaking of which, and again, lots of plus one controls hanging about. Okay. Should reach there in a couple of turns. Uh, I don't suppose you can hop over there. No, you can. There we go. He made it in. Vlad is back, because, you know, of course he is. He never never takes long. Uh, so, Leichberg. Or, or Lichberg. Lichberg. Many things. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, like, Lichtown, you know? Uh, who do I want to be quicker? Let's make, like, real quick, real quick ogres. Right, rather than the banner, we'll just tell them that... Um, they may look like bones, but they, they, they have sandwiches. Or lots of sandwiches. 
Just like an ungodly number of sandwiches. Okay, that's all great. Lovely. Uh, metal to gold to magic. There is no one known to possess greater knowledge in alchemical matters than Balthazar Gelt. So great is his understanding of the mystical lore of metal. Too right. Yes. And also, Aldebrand is here. Uh, Aldebrand Ortleman. Let's get you Counter Striker. Oh, nope, we're not going to do any more upgrades. I'm spending too much money again. Okay, let's get Bretonia on side now. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, you guys can't quite reach, but that's okay. Wow, we're really nearly done, huh? He's ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so something's gone wrong. Uh, I've been on the Great Orthodoxy's turn for quite some time now. Uh, I don't see... I mean, there is a giant X in the corner, so that scripts are broken, but I don't think the Great Orthodoxy matter. I don't think there's any scripts in this campaign that would have the Great Orthodoxy do anything, so I think that might be unrelated. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll try and sort this out, I guess. I'll try and end the turn again, see if that fixes it. You are not welcome in my court, yet here you are. Friend or foe, we will see you. So we got past the uh, the previous uh, turn, so that's good. Reloading the save did fix it, but this sort of thing is going to happen a lot more. Seeing as how we're using a bunch of legacy versions of the game and newer mods, little, uh, yeah, it gets messy and um, stuff breaks, which isn't great for when you're trying to do a, a series. So um, I'm very happy to be wrapping it up soon. This isn't how I'm going to wrap it up, though. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wrap up with his death. Maybe only a couple more times, <laughs> because he does die a lot. Bless him. Deferent and respectful, the Embassy to Britonia understands perfectly the customs and traditions of this ancient feudal society. Uh, Ambassador of the Royal Ark of Britonia is off. That's plus 50. 50. It's yes. a lot. To unite the provinces. Yeah, plus 50 to unite the provinces. I mean, that, yeah, that's what we're doing. He gets it. Um, let's get soothsaying. Okay, say things in a soothing way. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take that. Yum yum. And, uh, oh, we have the, uh, the Bogenvold. Nice. First, though, I want to get this building. I want to get this building. Building. I also want to get an Imperial port getting built. And uh, the engineer's workshop. Give us hell blaster volley guns in some fictional future. I'll take it though. Um, yes. Right. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, these guys. What does the emperor bid? Okay, go get them. Boom. The nation calls. I'm pretty sure that means that Castle Drakenhof is. Uh, let us begin. Well, it's about had it, hasn't it? It's about had it. That will work. It is best to move. We'll just wait for Carl to show up. Um, Vlad doesn't look too healthy. Castle Drakenhof has quite a garrison. What? But nothing that we can't deal with, I'd say. Uh, let's get Blade Master. Blade being a very famous vampire, so it's it's good that we should be their master if we're going to go fight the vampires. Um, and I know, I know, Blade doesn't exist in this universe, but we can pretend. Yeah, there's not much else, not much else to do. Uh, I also spent all my money again, so now I can't get all of these done. I do need an ambassador to the Phoenix King, though. I definitely need that, so actually... Let's hold up on the engineering workshop. I know, it's a pain. I mean, the dwarves are already good friends of ours. We're doing great with the dwarves. You know, dwarves are content. They're, they're pretty happy. They're pretty happy, I think. So we can move on. Friends of the Empire, come. Hello, Thorax. See, see how friendly they are? They're like, oh, come come play smack, like, smack the rat with us. It'll be great. Um, I'm not sure I really need to. But I'm going to say yes for old time's sake. 
Confederation offered. Uh, yes. Simply put, uh, we have no reason to say no at this point. We may as well just, uh, just have it. Get out of here. Jerk. And all but a corpse Anderson is ready. I just heard some chickens. Apparently we sent the chickens to go kill them. Where were the chicken riders in, uh, in... Where are we? There we go. In Eichschatten, huh? Where were they? So, Bastard the Phoenix King, successful dealings with the lofty, aloof Azur claim a certain type of individual if awkward diplomatic misunderstandings are to be avoided. Too right. Uh, for victory, uh, they want us to fight some Corsairs. I mean, I feel like the Corsairs' days are numbered. And look at that, finally, finally met them. Took the time. Got some research raids, other bits of bobs, got the Confederation. Uh, oh, and the mission was successful. What? Okay, sure, I'll take it, I guess. Was that army of Nurgle enemies somehow? That's very strange. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, um, anyway, let's have a look at that flavor text. Great strides have been made with your relationship uh, with the state of Hockland of late. Their elect count, Aldebrand Ludenhoff, has approached you with an offer of confederation. Hockland's feudal lands are wedged between the Middle Mountains to the north and the River Talabek to the south. Hocklanders have developed a tolerance for foreigners that is considered unusual due to being a crossroads of the northern and eastern states. Will you accept Hockland's offer for confederation? Absolutely. Also, where are our long rifles? I want a long rifle. That's what I want. Who calls? Uh, now let's see. Yeah, blade shield sounds good. Yes, and for yes. you lot... Uh, Scarred Veteran, I don't see why not. It is time. And for Hans, let's get... Uh, tools of Judgment. So. And for Thyrus, I mean, still, we're so far away. Five more turns to the Imperial Griffin. I don't think it's happening, guys. But that's okay. You know, he's been a good, he's been a good boy. Uh, now let's get... Ambassador to, uh, Karaz, to the Karazankor. Summon the Elector Counts. The nation calls. Okay. What does the Emperor bid? That ought to do it. I was going to send another army, but actually I prefer these um, mortars managed to actually get in. So, uh, yeah, final battle, guys. Final battle. Do I put them under AI control? I do always enjoy putting them under AI control. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And these guys are going to be a complete pain in the bum. And uh, Gelt is probably going to be just the most irritating boy, but... It's all part of the fun. Let's go. Oh boy. Epic final battle. And we came in the daytime, which really, really must have annoyed Vlad. It's not very spooky in the day. I say that, this place is still pretty spooky, isn't it? Still pretty spooky. It's all the weird, like, ghost flames everywhere. And the pits of skulls. You know, pits of skulls and ghost flames. I mean, this is all very spooky. You know, good for him. Good for Vlad. He he knows what he likes. I give him that much. He knows what he likes. Uh, Alright, we're going to send you guys at the gate. Okay. Send you guys at the gates. You guys are going to climb the walls. Uh, you know what? And the Free Company. We're going to send the Free Company up there too. It's really mean of us to do that, but we're doing it. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's go in over here. Hand gunners can move forwards. There we go. And, um... Yeah, they're all shooting. You should probably come down here. And yeah, our allies will be here in a couple of minutes. And they're bringing mortars. The on are already fleeing. I really wish they would just stay on the walls a little longer. They never stay long enough. Good shot. Good shot. Alright, let's go get these skeleton archers. Skeleton archers? Oh my god, yeah, of course, because... I was going to say, the vampire counts don't have skeleton archers, but he got them from his allies. That's really fun, because of course, like, back when it was under the banner of Undead, you know, just the faction was Undead, and not split between, like, you know, Tomb Kings and 
everything else. Um, skeleton archers were just an undead unit. You could you could bring them with, you know, with your von Karstein vampires and everything. Yeah, you, know, you could have Lad and Isabella running around with a bunch of, uh, yeah, with a bunch of skeleton archers. So I was like, what is this? What has happened? What is this weird time warp? Are the von Karsteins in charge of the undead? What's happening? Yeah, it really threw me. Really threw me. Oh, we're getting through there eventually. Don't know what I'm to do with you. Um... God, these towers. They really... Really do a lot. Pretty scary. Alright, let's pull you guys up. Okay, you've had a good shout. Let's uh, get you on those crypt ghouls. You're not getting on the crypt ghouls. Okay, finish them off then. Alright, well, now he's done, apparently. Alright, get on top of the crypt ghouls, and then I'll cast a banishment on top of you. How's that sound, Carl? That sound like fun? Okay, everyone seems to be scared of you. So, it's almost like they knew that this was going to be really fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we'll be able to do this plenty more times, so it's fine. Alright, Gelt's coming in. He's going to be using a bunch of spells, which is nice. Loads of mortars are on their way. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to turn into a giant bull, aren't you? Yeah, of course we are. No, they're all coming up this ladder. Jesus. They're going to be doing that for a while. Alright, we're getting through there. We're getting through there. Okay, hand gunners can keep moving forwards. Uh, I'm going to shoot these crypt horrors. Ooh, I need to kill you guys. I get some lag spikes. I think it's because of the uh, pathfinding for all these guys. I'm going to try and kill these guys with another banishment. Because I'm not enjoying this whole, um, you know, killing me thing that they're doing. Okay, good. They can't be bothered to move. That's perfect. I was thinking I might have to get them with the net of Amontok, but this works. Ah! Oh god. Go. Net of Amontok. Yeah, you can't hurt me. Ooh, bit of shades! Cheeky sods. You know what? Well done. Well done. And they're still going, jerks. Alright. Come on, girl. Let's get you up and about. And they have gotten through. Good. Come on. What's your problem? Why can't you shoot? Now he can. There we go. Come on, in the air. Let's go. Alright, mess him up. That was not hurting me. But I can do that too. It's not just you. Oh wow, okay, you hit like a truck these days, man. Look at that. Brutal. It's even harder. 1.1k damage, come on. Just get rid of Posner. Boom. Excellent news. Alright, now try and hit those hex rates. You can do big damage. I want to see it. Alright, how are you guys all bunched up here? I don't really understand. Oh, well, this is pretty bad news. Jumping down there at this point. Wow, that was a bad day. Okay. Things are looking good. Oh, another vampire over there. Nope, Necromancer. Oh, he's not going to last. Alright, Carl. Come on. <laughs> Go get him. Uh, Diedrich, you say? I know it's Diedrich, but still. It's got die in it, so. good. You guys can't reach. Oh, you guys probably can. Okay, where's Cal? Here he is. Come on, you're doing a terrible job of killing this guy, Cal. I, I say as he takes a quarter of his health up, half of his health up. Well done. Boop. Yeah, he's just having the worst time. And there he goes. Four hits, and he's dead. 
Yeah, Kells is having a wonderful time. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, they're attacking as the guns come in. And here's the Grand Cauldron boys. And popping about. Good lads, good lads. So where are they going? I'm trying to smash through the walls over here, are they? That's fine. Okay, that works. Uh, Zintler's Rights Guard. And the Altdorf Knights can come over here. And... Ah, uh, you're going to aid them now. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. As soon as Zintlers get in. And the Royal Altdorf Griffites with a huge bonus vest large. They just run in and... Yeah. Suddenly, a lot of dead cavalry. Alright, good job, lads. Good job. And, oh, hello. Hi. Hi there, little fella. Oh, no, this works. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That's a shame. I was hoping I could pause them in place. Nice. Nicely done. Alright, mess him up. Come on. I want to get these guys in so I can shoot him. Come on, Luminarch. You're taking lots of gunfire. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. And you lot seem to be doing okay. Where'd my cavalry go? Ah, they put a barricade up. It's cheeky. It's cheeky. There's a white king over there we're going to have to deal with. Okay, good. You're in. Annihilate this Vargulf, please. He's fighting halberds, which isn't... Ooh, okay, well, he seems to be doing quite well. Uh, it's not great for him, fighting halberds. Boom. Nice. Yeah, just keep doing that. Keep doing that. Uh, let's get some buffs out. Oh, there's Vlad. Now we've suffered some damage here, so... Perfect. Ah, yeah, they're done. Hmm, the skeleton warriors. Alright, let's put everyone's mailing attack over here. Ah, uh, rude. Oh, how are we looking? Alright, go smash that down. Then we'll try and, uh, try and take down Vlad, I suppose. Okay, it looks like we're nearly through. Boom. Carl didn't even need to be there. Alright. Get back up here. Oh, there's that White King. <laughs> Gelt's having a great time. Gotta be careful Gelt doesn't get caught out by Vlad, but... <laughs> Those Skeleton Warriors have been getting taken apart by... Uh... Ooh, okay, no one joining all the Mortars joining in. Ah, the mortars came to hang out with the other mortars. Ah, but they're friends. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's get back over here. Deal with those black knights. Um, not sure what else to do with that wizard, you know. Okay, yeah, let's debuff these Black Knights nice and quickly so that damage can stack. And my god, that really makes a world of difference, doesn't it? Well, oh, thanks, Geld. Yeah, great news. Cheers, buddy. Wherever he is. There he is. He's having a good time. Alright, more debuffs then. I really shouldn't be doing those buffs. We're going to fight Vlad in a second. At least that was the plan. Yeah, got big damage on him. Uh, still trying to deal with this uh, this White King. Should be much longer. How are you not getting on? Yeah, those ghouls don't have long for this world. Yeah, let's get you guys up in the air. Let's go get Vlad. Come on, Carl. Into the sky. Come on, it's sky time. Oh, it's just a little burk down here. 
Come on, come on. Come on, up in the air. Okay, let's get mess up, lad. Alright, we're gonna go get it. Okay, good. Oh, hi. You're in here too, huh? Who did with Graveyard? Excellent. And, alright, let's let it all in here. Uh, there he is. Okay, come on. You can get him. I know you can. Come on, Carl. Give him a little bop. Okay, I feel... I feel like Carl just, like, walloped him. At least Deathclaw did. And then just a little Debbie group just went right afterwards and got the kill. Which, honestly, fine. Fine. You know, good for them. Good for them. Yeah, we're going to have to remodel. This place is far too spooky. Alright. Good stuff. Boop. Yeah, we've got a bunch of things. It's all kind of pointless now. But uh, we got things. So many things. Sylvania, destroyed. Boom. Well, there you go. The Empire, safe and sound. Kind of, sort of. I mean, there's some Corsairs up here. But everyone else is kind of um, pretty chill, you know, pretty chill. Even like tree spirits, like, just assume everyone's dead here and it's gone back to nature, you know. Dry just seems pretty happy with humans running around in nearby lands. Um, yeah, so I'd say we're pretty content. Mission accomplished. Border Prince is an absolute mess, but that's the Border Princes for you. Um, yeah, okay, some of the southern realms are in a spot of bother, but... Again, you know, dwarfs and elves seem to be working together to stop them. So, I mean, pretty, pretty fairy tale ending. Uh, hell, look at this. Look at this. Even, even Karak Eight Peaks is nearly under the control of Sigma. Um, <laughs> I really love this alliance of dwarfs and man, where man has gone, yes, I now own Karak Eight Peaks. That was the plan, right? That was what we were doing. And the dwarfs are just there tutting. You know, just writing a lot of a lot of extensive notes in the book um, about what Voltmar's been up to. But yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, yeah, some Chaos Dwarfs are over here. It's all good. Things are looking good. Yeah, I'm happy. We saved the world, I've decided. So guys, uh, this is where we're going to end it. It's been a lot of fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, yeah, the, the fluff nuggets. Now that I know that you guys seem uh, keen to see that sort of content. Um, it's been a bit of a hassle. A lot of new releases and things lately. And, you know, it's Christmas, so it's, well, coming up to Christmas, so it's social obligations and all sorts. It's a very busy time of year, especially for a YouTuber. So having to, like, put in extra little optional bells and whistles, um, trying to find the time, uh, as well as, like, a good excuse every episode, it's just, yeah, I've had to just kind of ignore it and just do the series as usual. But it is nice to know that you guys enjoy that sort of thing. I will probably... Um, I mean, I'm still going to mull it over and think about how to sort of organically add little segments um, rather than just sort of just putting in corrections, I guess, but actually putting in just little extra bells and whistles, just um, nice little notes here and there, you know, like a couple episode, you know, a couple in an episode, just going, oh, we just bumped into this thing, here's a cool fact about this, or, you know, this unit that we bumped into, here's a description of that unit, just like little, little things. So I'm, I'm keeping that in mind for the next... Uh, next series we do and try and make that like a proper feature because I would like to do that because it's uh, it's nice because like I forget um, I mean I've forgotten more about Warhammer than most people ever know so it just feels like revision to me which is kind of nice like I'm, I've been just from doing like the little bits that I've done over this uh, this series I've learned a lot of little extra things again and I kind of like that you know just stuff that I'd completely forgotten um, that's suddenly nice to be reminded of. So, yeah, I enjoy it. But anyway, thanks for watching this series, guys. It's been fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, all the other stuff that's on the channel at the moment. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Now
is the time, men of the Empire, to unite 